Mitch Landjurak, Nagoya Grampus's star goalkeeper shattering J1 league records. Former Borussia Dortmund and Australia goalkeeper Mitch Landjurak has taken the J1 league by storm since joining Nagoya Grampus in 2018. If making history for most clean sheets in Japan's top flight was not enough in 2020, Landjurak broke his own record through just 28 matches this season 18. No stranger to breaking records, Landjurak also eclipsed a mark for most consecutive J1 League clean sheets with nine earlier in 2021. Third place Nagoya have conceded just 22 goals after 29 rounds, a figure only bettered by leaders Kawasaki Frontale, while Landjurak has kept four clean sheets for the 2010 J1 League winners en route to the AFC Champions League quarterfinals. Speaking to Stats Perform ahead of Wednesday's trip to FC Tokyo, Landjurak said, We're a very strong team at the moment. Obviously it helps when we have a strong mentality within the group and a good bunch of guys who are really working together for the team's benefit, whether that is going forward or back. I think it's a complete team effort. I don't really count clean sheets or worry too much about them because I tend to look at my performances as a whole. I can be equally as happy if I concede one goal but done so many good things as opposed to not doing a lot but keeping a clean sheet. I try to look at my game as a whole and continually try to improve on the things I don't do so well. Since leaving La Liga's Levante for Nagoya three years ago, Landjurak has registered the most clean sheets, 50, for a goalkeeper. Landjurak has conceded 0.76 goals per game in J1 League this season. Since 2015, Sir Ezo Osaka's Kim Jin Hyeon in 2019, 0.74, is the only goalkeeper to boast a better average of goals conceded per game in a season than the Australian. Nagoya have not conceded in 18 of their 29 league fixtures this term. If Massimo Ficadenti's men keep another clean sheet, they will surpass the 1995 Yokohama F. Marinos, 18 in 52 league matches at the time, for the most shutouts in J1 history. In the last couple of years, I've really started to enjoy my football a lot more. Really been a lot calmer and relaxed about my game, Landjurak said. Looking at my performances as a whole and not only worrying about making saves or clean sheets or goals conceded. Just trying to do all the small things right. One of the biggest things is controlling balls in the air. These days I come out for more or less everything. Getting a good punch as much as I can or taking clean crosses. Getting out and dominating the box so much more than when I was a bit younger. That's the biggest thing I've changed. I've realized I'm stopping a lot of goals purely by getting balls of out of the box that get put in from the sides. This season, Landjurak has a save percentage of 72.15, he finished with a 72.55 percentage at the end of 2020. The 33-year-old save percentage in the penalty box, 66.67, is currently a career high in the J1 league. For punches, Landjurak, 26, is second only to Avispa Fukuoka goalkeeper Masaki Murakami, 30. In terms of clearances, including punches, Landjurak ranks fourth among goalkeepers this season with 35, behind Kashiwari Isol's Kim Soon Jayu. His clearances and punches numbers have both increased since 2018-19, Landjurak's 35 clearances are a personal best in the J1 league, while his 26 punches are equal with his previous best last season. I'm always looking at the stats and data. Watching footage of opposition players. Regularly looking at everything after games, my own ball contacts, passing accuracy. Things like this I'm interested in, added Landjurak. Obviously a huge effect comes from the way your team plays. So for a goalkeeper, with passing stats, it's generally determined by how your team plays. If you're playing out then you're going to have a lot of short passes that are 100% successful, or if you're a team that maybe plays longer balls or doesn't tend to take risks at the back, you might play along balls to your striker where your passing accuracy is a little off. In terms of opposition, I look at the expected front four, highlights, where they've scored their goals, where they're dangerous, what they like to do, right foot, left foot.